right, today is the day we're gonna build some light fixtures. Well, of course you can see that the light fixture is already done, but I'm gonna show you what we did here in the studio to create these light fixtures. Take you back to show you why we made the lights ourselves in the first place. Well, that's simple. The light fixtures cost about $60 a piece when you buy a fluorescent light fixture with LEDs. And we needed 30 of these fixtures here in the studio. So, I don't think I'm cheap, but I do think I like to make projects for myself. And so we've taken these bulbs we found online that you can get for only seven or eight dollars a piece and made our own light fixtures. And we've cut the budget down from maybe a couple thousand dollars to three or four hundred dollars. So let's go take a look at how we made these light fixtures. The first thing I did is created a model in Fusion 360 and printed on the 3D printer. Um, a few things you need to look at was, of course, that this needed a mounting hole to mount it to the ceiling. The part of the mold's flexible and hangs down, so this little hole supports that part. Then there's a large hole in the end for the LED bulb to go in. And of course, making the mold for this is another video, but I needed a mold, and so let's take a look at how we created the parts there. Okay, so here's our mold that we're going to use to produce these two parts. So. If we had the parts originally or if we could just make an attempt to try some uh, different amounts in our mixture, we could do that. But since we have these two, we're just going to throw them on the scale and see what they weigh at 103.8 grams. Okay. Our mold is ready, nice and clean. We've added some releasing agent to it. It's not necessary in urethane to pour against the silicone mold with releasing agent, but it does help it come out a little bit easier. Our part A urethane, we're gonna pour that until we try to get as close as we can to 75. Coming up on 60, and we went right past it. Now we come with part B that we need to Pour 90% in, or 79 grams, but since we already have 79 in there, we are shooting for 151 grams. And this viscosity is a little heavier, so we can pour it a little slower. So we're watching it go at 80, 90, coming up. When it gets to 130, we gotta be really careful. Now with these, I'm coloring them a little bit, so I've got it down to where I just use one drop of color. Gives me a nice powder blue to match my ceiling. But once you have it mixed up, it's a matter of just pouring it in the mold nice and slow. This is, a, of course, a very viscous material, this urethane. And so if you pour it in slow, it pushes all the air bubbles out of the way. And since it is a little bit translucent, you can also see if an air bubble does capture and you could go down and poke it with a wire. But like I said, if you pour it in slow, you're pretty safe getting any air bubbles out. When in this case, we just filled the molds up till they're flat against the surface and that would be the back side of our part that goes against the ceiling. This is what it looks like as it sets off and cures. Of course, another 10 minutes from now, it'll be completely solid and ready to demold and take out. Okay, let's take them out. So the thing, we have to tip it this way. There it is. Beautiful piece. Peace. Mold ready to go again. Get rid of the end. Then we want to strip back the wires about an inch and a quarter. We're gonna eliminate the ground, strip back, 
Just enough insulation for a solder area. I'm gonna flux them just a little bit just so that they go a little faster. Well, once the connectors are on and some heat shrink to protect them, they get inserted through the back of one of the cap fixtures. And once the LED bulb is slid into the back of that cap fixture, those wires are plugged into the end of the bulb. Of course, the bulb is only powered on one end. The other fixture is just there to help mount it to the ceiling. And we're done. And this is what it looks like mounted to the ceiling, of course. One screw goes into a stud in the ceiling, holds it rigid. And then it's just, in my case, plugged into an outlet that's switched at the wall. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Kind of quick little overview of a, one of the processes. Like I said, we'll be doing some more of this kind of thing with some molds and a casting of different parts and components. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. See you in the channel. Come back again.